Welcome to this short video over how to recover a deleted page from an Azure DevOps wiki. So here we are in the demo wiki that I'm going to show all of this in. And it is a provisioned wiki as opposed to a code wiki. And what we've got going on here is we're going to delete this particular page and then we're going to recover it. These delete operations are different from a page change. So if I come in here and do a page change and save it, I can revert a page change by just hitting the, the triple dot here and going to version history and actually clicking the most recent change here. Shows that I added this particular line and just hitting revert and this will revert a page and it's back to where it was, so without this line. The problem here is that I've got this page, it's also got an attachment on it, so you can see the attachment just downloaded. And what I want to, ha want to happen is that somebody went in here and did this, and they actually deleted the page from the wiki itself. And so now, how do you recover this page? You can't do it using the triple dot here or here, it, and you can't do it from any page because this was a sub page. So what do you do? Your only real solution at this point is to actually clone the repository down to your hard drive. So you click on the, the link here to clone it. And when you bring up PowerShell or just a normal prompt, Windows prompt, and you can do a git clone. I highly recommend that you clone a um, wiki at the root of the hard drive and the reason why is if you've got a fairly deep treed wiki meaning you've got lots of sub pages lots of sub nodes underneath it you could potentially come have a problem with the paths being too long so what you want to do when you clone it you want to pay close attention to the output because it'll tell you that there's a problem with the file names being you know too long but in this case it did actually download it so let me just switch into that directory and I'll list it and you can see the tree order that we've got here so there's main there's main and then there's a main directory so we'll go underneath the main directory and we can see that there is a markdown file for API management and another one for Azure functions and you can see that our there's no subfolders in order to actually see what we deleted. The dot order file just basically determines the order if you want to change something to be alphabetical. So if I drag a API above Azure Functions, that's where that information is held. So anyway, what we want to find out is, you know, where is where's our deleted stuff? So it's it's basically in two places. There's going to be back at the original folder, there is information underneath the attachments. And apparently, I've done this a couple times already, and the attachments don't seem to be deleted whenever you delete the page that they were on. So you may be in luck there, but if they're not, we could still recover them if they were deleted. So let's go back up a level. Let's clear our screen. And what we want to do is we want to look at the revision history. And we will do that with the git log command, with the dash dash dip dash filter equals D and we want a summary. Now I've deleted this file a couple times just to get a good recording of this. And you can see the previous time I deleted it and then this time that I deleted it. What you want to do is take a look at the commit ID here. So I need this. So I'm highlighting it. In PowerShell you right click it and it copies it. And what I want to do is I want to revert to the version before that ID. So what I, the command that I need is git reset dash dash hard, right click again to paste in, and then I need a caret, which is above the six, <laughs> and hit return. And now it actually reset it. So if I do a dir now and drive into main, and you can see that 
there is now an Azure Functions directory now. So there's not only is there an Azure Functions, but there's the Azure Functions directory. So if I CD into that, I can see my file that was deleted, which is typesmd. If for some reason the file was deleted as well, I could pop open the types.md file and look at the attachment's name and then go back up and now recover the attachment as well. But it doesn't appear that the attachments are deleted. It may be something that takes time in indexing. So the indexing, when it gets around to actually indexing both your pages, it may start to notice that an attachment is no longer attached to anything and then it may delete it. So yours may actually be deleted. So if it is, then we'll pop open the file. So let's pop open the file real quick. So here I popped open the file and I can see that it's referring to this particular file. So it's whatever, that was the original name of the file. Um, and it appends this GUID on there. So that's the file I'd have to go find up in the attachments directory. And there it is. Yours will have a lot more if, you, if you've actually attached lots of documents, you'd just be searching for that one. So what we do is we copy this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna copy this one and we're gonna copy the directory structure too. So I'm gonna come down to here, CD. I'm going to copy this folder along with the types file that's inside of it, and I'll get my attachment too. So here over in my ctemp directory, I have copied out that attachment file when I found it, and I've also copied out the Azure functions. You can see I've got both of those files in there as well. Okay, now we're going to put the repository back in its original state. So we'll do uh, git status will tell us that. So it tells us that we're one commit behind and we can fast forward by doing a git pull. So let's fast forward, doing a git pull. This puts the repository back in its normal state. So now what I'm gonna do is copy those files back into place. So here I pasted the folder back into place. And I pasted the attachments back in the dot attachments directory as well. And there's my attachments back in the attachments directory. So if I come over here and, and actually do the get status now, it does recognize that a new folder was added back in. So I will do a git add all. And I will do a git commit. The message is added back in. I will do a git push, push it all back in. Okay, now if we revert back over to here, I should refresh the screen. My file is back. And my attachment is there and it does download still. Like I said, the attachment didn't appear to be deleted, but it just might be a matter of time before the indexer gets it. So if you get to the clone the repository down to your hard drive really quickly. You just say, hey, look, the attachment was already there. Awesome, just recover the page. But if it's gone, you'd go revert back and then pick up that attachment along with the, the page that was deleted and put them all back the way we just showed. And that's it. Hopefully this is helpful somewhat. Thanks, bye.